Bye. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, the Funky Bunkley and the Funky Danny. Hi. Where are we, Danny? In Austria. I've wanted to come to Austria for a long time. I've been wanting to come to Salzburg, and I'm finally here. It's going to be an awesome weekend. We're excited. Woo, 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 In these few days in Austria, we did a lot. We checked out the historical eagle's nest, which was one of the Nazis' prized gems on top of the Bavarian Alps, the city of Salzburg, the Ladder to Heaven hike, which is known to be one of the scariest hikes in the world, vertically ascending thousands of feet above the valley below, the beautiful lake of Gasausi tucked deep in the Bavarian Alps, and one of the most picturesque places in Europe, Hallstatt. The first thing we did was kickstart the morning off with a four and a half mile guided hike to the top of Hitler's eagle's nest. You animal. The eagle's nest was known to be the Nazi regime's prized jewel in the Bavarian Alps. Before they proceeded with their plans for World War II and mass murder, their plans were carried out in Ober Salzburg. The Nazis hosted foreign diplomats and used this area to conduct meetings and entertain their guests. As US and French forces moved into the area in May of 1945, Birchgarden was heavily bombed by the Royal Air Force. Surprisingly, the Nazis surrendered to American forces and the war came to a close. Luckily, the German government decided to keep the Eagle's Nest, and we were able to hike up the same route the American forces did as they conquered the last piece of the Nazi regime. And that uh, charming little hut is where in 1929 you would have a guy, Rudolf Hess, sitting down in his chair, planking on the typewriter, and Hitler would be stomping around that place for hours, dictating what would be the end of his Masterwork, Mein Kampf, My Struggle. Here's the trail of the group. And here's a slow poke in the back. Come on, slow poke. Oh my god. <laughs> Danny, por que tu eres más slow? I am tried. Two hours. Wow. Que tu haces? Oh my. <laughs> How do you know that word? It's all original from 1938, just in time for Hitler's 50th birthday. Okay, no, no. Not for me. Not everyone's gonna make it. <laughs> Get to class day at Eagle's Nest. For me, it is amazing. <laughs> I definitely thought the Eagle's Nest was pretty lit too. It was very beautiful up there, but more importantly, it was cool to see the history. But now we're gonna get some bomb Italian food for this little piggy. After dinner, we spent the rest of the day exploring Salzburg. ¿Qué tú tienes? 
<laughs> you don't like the bubble tea, huh? It's ex -nile. Here's Mozart's house in the yellow. The real life Mozart live right there, people. Oh, oh, get it, get it, get it. Mozart would be proud. O pessoal tá de short na rua. Eu tô aqui, o moço do restaurante me deu o cobertor. Que verão é esse, gente? Meu nariz tá vermelho, de tanto It is day two of the Austrian bad girls trip. Today, I'm gonna be going to do the Stairway to Heaven hike, which is about an hour away from Salzburg. So I'm driving there now and it's gonna be lit. We gotta stop and get some snacks for the hike. Danny, como fue los viajes aquí de Salzburg? Very good. Look at how beautiful this is. And right now we're gonna go up to the cable car and go up to this mountain right there. Right there, we're gonna go there and then go all the way up there. There, those little black dots, those are people climbing across a ladder that is suspended thousands of feet above the ground. Dang, we got the biggie and pass on a fit. Me. <laughs> I had to leave Danny back at the mountain hut. She's been doing a lot of badass stuff lately, but she is not quite ready to be suspended thousands of feet above the ground and walk across a ladder. I've got about a four hour hike ahead of me. Since I came to Europe, the Stairway to Heaven hike is something that I've been wanting to do. It's been on my bucket list. So being here right now is a big moment for me. It's one of the most hardcore things I've probably ever had the chance to do. Finally get to do the Stairway to Heaven hike. This is badass. <laughs> This is a start right here. Stairway to heaven right there. Here. Hey, we did it, bad boys. <laughs> yeah, Good work, guys. Yeah, you too. <laughs>
<sighs> I made it on top of this guy. Definitely one of the dopest hikes I've ever done. I have done a lot of crazy shit in my lifetime, but that by far was one of the craziest things I've ever done. It was pretty extreme. I felt with every step I was gonna fall to my death, but you only have one life to live and I'm glad I did it. But now I'm gonna head back down this mountain. Danny's waiting for me on the lake. The Austria trip will continue after this transition. Oh, look who we have here. Perfect today. J2 Asa Soy? You slept on the lake, huh? Yes. Dos platos. Mm, get in there. Que la niña hace cuando tú duermes. La niña, wake up me. Look at me. A little girl was staring at you, huh? Yeah. You do? Es esto? It's not cold. It's not cold here. We're just in the mountains. ¿Qué tú creas de Gosalsi? I love Gosalsi. It was pretty beautiful. That's it for the day. We're going to go back to Salzburg and sleep because we're going to go get slumped in Hallstatt tomorrow. Tomorrow! Danny just got here to our hotel that is in a church for our hotel. Interesting. Beautiful place. It is day three of the Austrian bad girl trip. Hi. Last night was pretty interesting. We got into our hotel. People were raging in the streets of Salzburg and we're looking for our hotel and we find the biggest church right in the center plaza. It turns out that's where our hotel was. It was an awesome hotel. Very big, very spacious. So we woke up this morning and it was pretty interesting because when we went down to reception, when we got breakfast, we were probably the only people under the age of 60 that were staying in that hotel. Everyone there was super old. I think it was like some sort of church hotel. It was kind of interesting. But yeah, we are on the way to Hallstatt and it's time to get to Hallstatt. Now we're going to get a little bit of exploring in. ¿Qué tú necesitas hablar de Hallstatt? Hallstatt es beautiful. Hallstatt es un lugar diferente de Wallonia, pero sí. ¿Pero qué? Es muy people. Hay muchas personas, muchos turistas aquí. Sí, es diferente. Oh. Estás tú aquí. Es mi mouth. Es mi mouth. Oink, oink. Get to Sleeping. <laughs> Hallstatt was a pretty little city. It was neat, but now we're gonna go back to Salzburg. Hey everyone, we are in Salzburg now. We got one final night, and we're gonna go check out the castle and then the Augustiner Brau, the famous beer hall here. <laughs> we hear it's the best beer hall in the world, so we'll be the judge of that.
we are at the famous beer hall now. Estamos en oh, el popular Agustina Brau. ¿Qué tú crees? Uh, can I get a one liter and a half liter? Two. Amor, que tu creas de la casa de cerveza en Salzburg? I am a drunk. <laughs> no, you're not. You literally had half a liter of beer yet. Cute. Danny and I had a pretty good time at the Augustiner Brau. It's one of the good beer halls here in Salzburg. But for now, I think we're gonna head home and we will catch you guys in the morning. Bye! Austria is an amazing country and there are few places on this earth that can compare to the beauty of the Alps. We were thankful for our time here, but it was time to head home. Thank you guys for watching our time in Austria. It's been a real hoot. Until next time, stay funky. I got a lot of sugar, so you ain't about to hate on me. Man, you can